We start addressing this problem by first of all drawing a free body diagram, as shown on the screen here. We've drawn our x and y coordinates in the normal direction, and there are no forces in the horizontal or x direction. So we only need to consider forces in the vertical or y direction. And the forces acting on the rocket, therefore, are the weight, the force of gravity acting downwards, mg, and then in the upwards direction, we just have the thrust of the engine, which we've labelled T. The resultant force in the y direction is then the sum of all the forces in the y direction, the sum of Fy, which is equal to T minus mg. We're taking the positive y direction to be upwards. From Newton's second law, we put that resultant force into the equation F equals MA. So FRY is equal to T minus MG, which equals MAY. Transposing that equation, we get AY is equal to T minus MG over M. And then we just put in the numerical values for the force T and for the mass M. And that gives us the answer of 3.89 meters per second squared as shown here.